whistling guitarist of Central Barcelona. Yep, it's true. We're back in Barcelona. One of my favorite cities in the world. By the way, I'm not alone in that belief. If you've ever met anyone who's run to Barcelona, they never have anything bad to say about it. Or if they do, it's very minor. No one goes to Barcelona and is like, that place sucked and I hated it. So much activity. So much energy. We're, on, uh, we're actually in the Gothic Quarter right now. I know it doesn't look super gothic-y, but it's like the main wide shopping street in the Gothic Quarter. Most of the Gothic Quarter is very narrow streets. I hear him. Where is he? There he is. Look at this, kids. You don't even need to know how to sing to be a musician. whistling guitarist of Central Barcelona. Alright, I take it back. He started singing eventualmente. Lots of people out and about. Lots of tourists. Too many tourists. I sympathize with the people who live in Barcelona. They just... You know, if you live in a great city, you're going to get tourists, but Barcelona gets too many. They have a disproportionately high amount of tourists considering the size of the city. New York City gets tourists, but you don't feel overwhelmed by tourists like you can in a lot of parts of Barcelona. Now if she's a tourist, she can hang out as long as she wants. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know what? I'm okay with being a man too. I'm okay with letting out a little humana 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 when I see attractive women walking down the street. It's all right. It's all right to be a man. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Heading over to the metro station now. I unfortunately get trapped behind this girl. I have to walk behind her, guys. I have to walk behind her for like a minute. Woe is me. Woe is you for having to watch this video being trapped behind this woman. It's terrible. Ow. Notice that sign over there says Supermercat. It does not say Supermercado. Because in Catalan, that's how you say supermarket. Supermercat. I actually started my journey abroad in Barcelona before the Panini back in 2017. Took a three-month trip abroad when I had an online business that was quite successful and allowed me to do stuff like that, go work from anywhere, before the rest of the world was doing it. And I started learning Spanish in Barcelona, which is kind of a terrible place to learn Spanish because they also speak Catalan and a lot of the words are very similar. So when you're first starting out, I thought Supermercat was how you said supermarket in Spanish until I realized that was Catalan. And in Spanish, Supermercado. There's a lot of things like that. I thought the Spanish word... I just started learning Spanish in Barcelona. I thought the Spanish word for exit was Sortida because that's how you say it in Catalan. And that's what all the signs and the metro said, but it was in fact Salida. Look at this tall Scandinavian. That woman was probably six foot three. Enorme. Una gigante. Corre es una gigante. Mm. 
Riding on the metro. Bar, 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 bar. I think I could get the rights to that. The system of a down metro song. Pushing my luck with that one. This would be perfect for right here. I tried, guys. I tried to get caught up behind a scantily clad, attractive woman. Instead, we have Senorita Burka y su hijo. <laughs> I tried. I tried. The never-ending tunnel. Ah. You can spend a long time walking around here in the metro behind a lady with the world's loudest flip-flops. Holy cow. Somewhere there's a very, very upset neighbor. We're on the metro now. Very safe, as long as you don't fall into the track and get run over. But as far as, like, weirdos riding on the metro, Barcelona's got to be one of the best. One of the least weirdo-occupied metros I've been on of any city. And they got that nice clock. Tells you exactly when the train's coming. I don't, I don't know why I got so close to the opening there. But that's not safe. The metro in the summer is insanely hot. If it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit out on the street, it'll be like 105 in the metro. Luckily, it's not 90 that often in Barcelona. But it is 85 quite often. If you don't know Fahrenheit degrees, I'm not translating. The rest of the world's got to learn ours. Hasta la próxima, chicos. <laughs>